Hello, I'm Dr. Sarah Speck, and I'd like to welcome you to our first series of healthy cooking videos sponsored by Swedish Heart and Vascular Institute and the John Locke Junior Trust. I'll be joined by one of Seattle's top chefs working in a kitchen just like one that you would have in your home. I started out cooking um, actually while I was still at home. My parents both worked 12 hours a day and so it was kind of up to me if I wanted something delicious to eat for dinner and do something nice for mom and dad when they got home to get dinner ready. So I learned how to cook for my mom watching her on the weekends and then started cooking with her. I named the restaurant Tilf because we are 95% certified organic through Organ Tilf. And Tilf is the first top layer of soil where all the microbes and all the life exists. So if you plant your, your seed in really good, healthy, uh, you know, vibrant soil, then you'll get a really good crop. So it was, you know, for that, and that's the kind of food that we try and put on the table at Tilf as well as kind of a metaphor for opening up the restaurant. I think the philosophy of cooking healthy food is definitely catching on with chefs, especially in the, the Northwest region. So it's really simple. I tried to come up with something that if you are short on time at home, you can definitely um, create this dish within probably I'd say 30 minutes at home. And what we're gonna start out with is a little bit of cucumber. I have a hothouse cucumber, but you can feel free to use uh, lemon cucumbers or you know any sort of cucumber that you, that you like. We Great. are in that season right now, so there's a lot to choose from. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to do a julienne cut. We're gonna make nice, thin cuts, and this is going to be for a raw, fresh salad that we're gonna put on top. I'm definitely a big mm. fan of cooking a vegetable and then uh, using that same vegetable, raw, as a garnish somewhere on the dish. So it's very kind of minimalistic in thought. And we're using halibut today, which is a lovely local Northwest favorite, and once again, in season. What I did was I marinated it with a little bit of yogurt, so that way it has a, kind of a nice uh, uh, acidic quality to it. it. It definitely kind of brightens it up a little bit as well as it tenderizes it naturally. And what we're gonna do is put just a little bit of oil in the pan. Not much, it doesn't need much. I'm gonna say it's probably like a half teaspoon. Okay, and we're going to season or halibut. If you notice, sir, I'm seasoning from up high, yes. and that way it allows the salt to distribute evenly. And I'm gonna do the same with the pepper here. We have one other item that we're gonna do, which is um, couscous. And what you wanna do with the couscous is just buy it dry in the store, and you want to boil up a little bit of water, put it in a little pan, and add enough water just to cover the couscous. Cover it with plastic and let it steam. It'll take maybe five minutes to Great. steam off. Great. So that process has been done already. So our pan is nice and hot. I'm gonna take the halibut. If you notice, sir, I'm gonna put this pan, I'm gonna put the halibut in the pan away from me so that way the oil splashes back. And that's just a medium heat? That's just a medium heat. And you've cut the cucumbers now into slices, not the julienne, but just across. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take the cucumbers that have been grilled. Okay. I'm just going to set them here for now and reserve them for, for plating. So now, with this halibut here, what we're looking for is a nice brown uh, caramelization. We'll give it a turn, okay? Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna let it cook on the other side. That's great. I'm a big fan of uh, cooking fish medium rare, but, you know, by all means, if you would like to cook it, uh, well done, it'll taste just as delicious. Whatever how would I test is. that? For Good. me, I've been doing it long enough that um, I can kind of tell just by the, the color change. Like, once again, you see how it's a little bit whiter here? Yes. And then you see how it's translucent right there? Sure do. Now, if it's white here, and then as it continues to cook on the bottom, it gets a little white, and it stays just a little translucent in the middle, you know that you have a medium rare. But if you don't do this every day, then sometimes it's easier to just Peak. Go ahead and make a little cut and see if it's, if it's what you want. Great. Now that our pan is nice and hot, 
we're gonna go ahead and saute up our couscous. Okay, so we have our pan, put some couscous in there. And it's already cooked, so all we need to do here is really warm it through. I'm gonna add some salt. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper to it. So we have a little bit of lemon juice. Add that to it. And again, this is, you know, a preference, however much you want. I'm gonna put some chopped parsley. That'll give it some nice herbaceousness. Mm. And then I'm also gonna put some chopped chives. Again, just giving a little bit of herbaceous quality, okay. as well as a little color. There we are, we have our couscous. Put that right in the center. Mm. Smells so good. Oh, that's lovely. All right. Okay, now our halibut is complete. Okay, and then we're gonna make that fresh little salad that we talked about a little mm. bit earlier. Mm. Okay, so we're gonna put our, our fresh cucumber in here, a little bit of salt. Just a drop of oil, a little bit of pepper. Okay, and I'm gonna put a little bit of lemon vinaigrette. So this is just lemon juice and a little bit of olive oil. Okay. And that's it. But it really kind of, once again, just lends a little extra flavor. We have some chopped chives. We have a little bit of chopped parsley. Okay, so we're gonna add that to the top. Mmm. Superb. Thank you. Maria, you've taken this fabulous recipe and shown us that it's healthy and that it's simple enough that even I could make it in my own kitchen. This is truly an inspiration to share this meal with your friends and family. Thank you so much for your time and sharing your recipe with Thank us today. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it.